Hello everyone, this is GH Kusanagi, and today I wanted to make a tutorial on the advanced palette editor option in Fighter Factory. Uh, for this one I'm going to be using Fighter Factory Studio, since it's the one that I consider to be the best one and the most effective one. But in any case, uh, this is going to be a small tutorial, or a kind of big one. This is the third time I've recorded this. <laughs> It's okay. So, uh, let's start by how to go into the advanced palette. Well, I press this button, the one that says edit the palette in the advanced palette editor. So you click it, and there we go. There it is. As you can see, you can zoom with these options. You can make it super small, you can make it super big. Like this. It's Dio. Okay, so for this one, I've been, I'm have going to use Theo. So next example. Okay, so this is your palette. So, uh, if you want to select colors on your palette, you just have to click them. If you click them once, you'll select them. And if you want to know what color you're uh, selecting, you're going to have to click this option called Mask. As you can see, it highlights the color you're using right now. You can change the, co the color using this option called mask color. So I'm gonna, you choose this and make it so that it looks like this. As you can see, it totally works. I'm gonna go back to this one. And there we go. So yeah, um, now for, let's look at other stuff, so for example, this one, this one's called Interval of Selected Colors in Creating, so for this one I have, I'm gonna have to explain uh, how to choose multiple colors, you can do that by holding control and selecting a row of colors, or you can do, select one color, press shift, and select the last color it automatically uh, selects the row of colors that you want to choose. So we're gonna go here on interval of selected colors and gradient. As you can see, it tells you to add a start color, so I'm just gonna put... Uh, I'm gonna put this one over here, and then this one over here. And bam! There we go! It automatically creates a gradient. I'll go back to how it looked it normally. Looked normally. So yeah, that's how you create a gradient. Uh, if you want to reverse shade colors, you just have to press Exchange Position in Selected Colors. This option right here. You reverse it. Whoop! And there we go. Reverse shade. Another thing, this is another option called Blue. These options are, I think, only usable in Fighter Factory Studio. But anyway, I wanted to cover them all. The default option that's going to be appearing is Blue to Red. So when you put it, bam. Uh, it ver, it, it varies, it, it differs from different colors and palettes. So for example, I'm gonna go back to this, and it looks looks blue when I put it here on the on the pants. Oh yeah, uh, if you double click a color in one of the palettes, you go into here, and change the colors, you can add this to the custom colors. You can pick a screen color. So for example, I want it to be like this. Okay, it looks bad. So, lighter, it's this option, uh, go here, so I'm going to use the example on the leotard, so I'm just going to put this one over here, right now. I'm going to put this one over here, press it, and there we go, it's lighter, press it again, lighter, here, lighter, and here, lighter. Now, I'm going to choose this one. Select the darker option, 
and bam, it's it's darker. Let me let me make this darker. I don't want it to be like that. Next one, monochrome. Uh, I'm gonna choose all of this. Um, and as soon as I click it, monochrome. Uh, yeah, it's basically what the name just says. It makes it monochrome. Uh, fire. This one is not really useful, and I don't recommend you using it because it looks like this. If you want to make fire, uh, I recommend you doing it by yourself. So here, set fire. Uh, click it. Looks bad. <laughs> don't use it. <laughs> And next one, stone. I also don't recommend you using this one because it, uh, it's messed up. Only works in certain lengths of palettes. It looks like this if you do that. Again, not really recommended. So which ones are you gonna be using here? Uh, the blue to reds, blah 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 blah. All of these, lighter, darker, and monochrome. All of these are the ones that you're gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead, choose this one. Okay. Next thing, the sliders. As you can see, you can change the hue on certain parts of the palette. For example, I wanted to make it like this. It looks okay. Saturation. Uh, it decreases or here on the skin. The skin's better. A better example. It increases or decreases the saturation of the color. So, for example, here, if I saturate it more, it looks like green, and if I desaturate it, it looks uh, gray. Experimenting with them can get you really good results, like this. You can make them. For example, I'm gonna choose all of these. And as you can see, I can manage to get some cool colors. You know, just this. Whoops. Just this. This, 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 this. Make it like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, to apply changes, you have to press the check button that obviously says apply the changes. And for this. And bam. As you can see, desaturate. Next, uh, the RGB slider center. Really recommend you using this. For example, this is the red one. I move it. The blue one. And the, I mean the green one. That was the green one. And the blue one. Uh, the blue one is really useful if you have characters with yellow palettes. So, for example, Rubber Soul, Dio. Um, who else? has yellow palettes. Uh, old stuff. And yeah. Uh, because when you do that, you create... If you increase the blue values on the on those yellow colors, you can create these. This amazing, like, green color really works on your palette mods. So, what are the, s the sliders that you're going to be using on these? You're going to be using a lot of the hue, a lot of the saturation, uh, probably not the RGB values, but yeah, that's the ones that I recommend you using. So, hmm. now I'm gonna do a pal mod. I'm gonna put all the captions on what I'm doing, so you can understand what I'm doing. So, uh, this is, and yeah, that's gonna be how I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, well, here we go.
And anyways, that's gonna be the end of it. I hope you guys like the tutorial. It's something that I've been working on. Um, and next video will be a tutorial on how to use shift. And well, thanks everyone for watching.